Animal Mechanical Mission Time! Animal Mechanicals! We Animal Mechanical can! Rex Mechana Strong! Unicorn McCanfly! Komodo Mechana Gizmo! Mouse Mechana Fast! Sasquatch Mechana Stretchy! McKenna Hide and Seek Hamster Island. Animal Mechanical Mission Time! Good morning, Animal Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Great! Yeah. Your destination is McKenna Hide and Seek Hamster Island. Correct me if I am wrong, which I never am, but don't hide and seek hamsters love to play hide and seek? Yes, Komodo. In fact, hide and seek is the hamster's favorite game. But there's a problem. The hamsters have been seeking and seeking everywhere, but they can't find one of the hiding hamsters, and they're getting quite worried. That hamster must be a good hider. Or do you think maybe the poor hamster is lost? Unknown. Your mission is to find the missing hamster. McKenna, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! Seek Hamster Island. And there are the hamsters. They say they've looked everywhere for their friend and still can't find him. Let's search for the missing hamster. I have eagle eyes that miss nothing. Ah, uh, Komodo. Not now, Sasquatch. I am searching for the. <laughs> Would now be a good time to tell you that some hamsters are about to run you over? Better late than never. Someone needs to keep those hamsters calm while we search for their friend. Sasquatch, maybe you can play a game with them. What game would they like to play? Well, let's see. What game would hide-and-seek hamsters like to play? Ah, uh, catch? Hmm. Tiddlywinks? Hopscotch. How about hide and seek? Nah, uh, probably not. Maybe you could give it a try, Sasquatch. Okay, but I don't think they'll like it. Come on, hamsters. Let's play hide and seek. All right, team. Let's find that missing hamster. It's not on the wheel. Or in the dome. I hear something. The sounds are coming from inside the tube. Look! The missing hamster! He says he ate too many hamster snacks and his belly got so big he got stuck in the tube. Oh dear! He does look chubbier than the other hamsters. Hamster snacks? Mmm! Rex likes hamster snacks. Come on! Big green machine, you're making the hamster nervous. How will we get the hamster out? Perhaps someone could crawl inside the tube and push him out. I don't think I could crawl up the steep part of the tube. Me either. I can't crawl at all. I have very sensitive hands and feet. Mice are great crawlers. I'm on it. Whoa! Oops, it's so steep in there, I slid backwards. Maybe you need to take a running start, Mouse. That might work. I'll try. Oh. Whoa! You 
weren't going fast enough to reach all the way to the top of the tube. This is impossible. Nothing's impossible for animal mechanicals. I just have to go even faster. Fortunately, I'm... Mouse! Mechanical! together with bolts. Perhaps we can take a section of it apart. Do you think you can push the hamster just to the end of that section, Mouse? I think I can. Well then, this is a job for... Komodo! Makata Gizmo! Whoa. No. My daisy! Aha! One mighty McKenna wrench to the rescue! Handy dandy tool time! Now the other side! One more bolt and... Watch out below! Whoa. I'm going to take another running start! Get ready, hamster! And we better get ready to catch the hamster! That is one chubby hamster! Is everyone okay? Uh huh. Weak, weak! <gasps> weak, weak! The hamster seems fine, too. Good work, team. Hey, what's everyone doing? Sasquatch, what are you doing? Hiding from the hamsters. Shh. Well, we found the missing hamster, so you can stop hiding now. Okay. <laughs> I stopped hiding. I noticed. Listen. I hear something. What is it, Mouse? I think it's <laughs> hamsters. They're searching for me. They don't know the hide-and-seek game is over. And they don't know the tube has been taken apart. They're going to run right out of it and fall. We can't catch them all. They'll get hurt. Hamsters are not tough and bouncy like the mighty Sasquatch. Hamsters! Stop, no, no, stop. no, no, stop! Stop! No, no, no. They can't hear us inside the tube. We need to put the missing tube part back before they fall. The tube is nice and light, but I can't raise it high enough. Who can raise it way up there? It's quite a stretch. Uh-huh. Someone would have to be very stretchy to lift that tube way up there. Right. But who could do that? Someone who could stretch. <clears throat> Wait a minute. I just had an idea. I could stretch and raise that tube. Why didn't I think of that? Behold! The mighty Sasquatch! Makana Stretchy! Sasquatch, the hamsters are about to come tumbling out of the tube. I can do this. Whew, just in time. Komodo, you'd better bolt that tube back in place. Radio. We found 
the missing hamster. And now, all the hamsters are safe and sound. Animal Mechanicals, mission accomplished! Yay! The hamsters are inviting us to play hide and seek with them! Mechanic, can we? We Animal Mechanical can! Hey, where's Rex? Maybe he's already hiding. I think he's hiding with the hamster snacks! Follow those munching sounds! <laughs> is Makana Origami Owl Island. Origami? What's that? Origami is the art of making things by folding paper. The origami owls who live on the island are made completely out of paper. The origami owls love to make their own origami creations. But there's a problem. The owls have a special origami creation they want to make, but they've run out of paper. Not good. No. It seems the platypus paper maker that makes all the paper on the island isn't making enough paper for the origami owls to make their special creation. I wonder why. Good question, Komodo. Your mission is to get the platypus paper maker making enough paper for the owls. Makana, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! Makana Origami Owl Island! And there are the origami owls! Look at all the beautiful origami paper shapes they've made! <laughs> they say they are excited about making a special origami creation today! Just like Island Owl said! Well then, they definitely need paper! Ah! The platypus paper maker! Animal Mechanicals, checking it out! So, this papaya thingy makes paper? Yes! The platypus makes paper out of wood. First, the wood is loaded in here. And then the platypus mashes the wood into a pulp. Then the platypus mixes the pulp with water. And a giant mixer blends the mixture into a thick paste. 
fascinating. Why does the papaya thingy have such a big beak? Platypus. Right. Sasquatch, be careful. The platypus pounds the paste flat with its beak to make paper. <laughs> Komodo, be careful. The papoose pounds the paste flat with its beak to make paper. Platypus. This is a pretty small piece of paper. Not enough to make a special origami creation. Hmm. I think I know why the paper platypus is not making enough paper. It's all out of wood. Then all we have to do is get more wood. Ah, uh, where does wood come from? I know. Wood comes from trees. Right, Mouse. So we need trees. Does anyone see any around here? Hmm. It looks like there were trees over there, but they're all cut down. Look, an origami owl. <laughs> she says she's a tree farmer, and she grows and cuts down trees for the platypus paper maker. That would explain why all these trees have been cut down. But she said she also grows trees. Why isn't she planting more trees? <laughs> she says she tore her wing and can't plant trees. Poor owl. <laughs> And she needs paper to fix her wing, but there's not enough paper. Because there are no trees. And there are no trees because she can't plant them with a ripped wing. Don't worry, little owl. The mighty Sasquatch will plant trees for you. The tree farmer owl says there are tree seeds and fertilizer over there. Turbo tree seeds. We need to plant them in the ground. This ground is really hard. I can't make a hole. Me either. I can't dig. I have very sensitive fingers. This is a job for... Rex! McKenna Strong! Strong! Strong like a titanium Tyrannosaurus! Let's plant the seeds! We have to add the fertilizer. That helps the seeds grow. I'll add the fertilizer. Only use a tiny little bit, Sasquatch. Turbo trees grow extremely fast. I'll just pour it all in. That should make it grow even faster. There, the seeds are planted. Why aren't they growing? I thought turbo trees grew fast. What else do seeds need to grow? Water. Seeds need water to grow. Hmm, it does not look like it is going to rain anytime soon. This is a job for... Corn, fly! What's she doing? Amazing! She's using her magic horn to make rain clouds. Unicorn is the coolest. Great work, Unicorn. That should get the turbo trees growing. Ah! Oh, the ground is beginning to shake. What's happening? That tree is out of control! Take cover! Why is that one growing so much? Sasquatch, did you use all the fertilizer? Uh-huh. You shouldn't have done that. As I said, turbo trees grow extremely fast. <laughs> you know something, Komodo? I shouldn't have used all the fertilizer. Turbo trees grow extremely fast. I... <laughs> Do that. Oh no! The tree won't stop growing! It's going to knock over the platypus paper maker! We need to stop that turbo tree from getting too big! But how? It's impossible! Nothing's impossible for animal mechanicals! This is a job for. Komodo! <laughs> 
the top here, a little more there. Ta-da! The tree is under control. Now let's load this wood into the platypus paper maker. Origami owls should have enough paper now to make their special creation. Animal Mechanicals, mission accomplished. Hooray! Here you go, owls. Lots of nice new paper. Look, they fixed the tree farmer owl's ripped wing. Now they're folding the paper into something. This must be the special creation they've been waiting to make. Uh, a little help here? Sasquatch, what are you doing in there? I was trying to make my own origami thingy. Mechanic, can you guys get me out of here? We animal mechanicals can! Dozer Island. Animal Mechanical Mission Time! Good morning, Animal Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Yes. Great! Your destination is Bear Dozer Island. Who are they? They're Bear Dozer cubs. They woke up early from their winter hibernation. Their winter hiber what? Hibernation. It's a very long sleep. Bear Dozers hibernate all through the winter and wake up in the springtime when it gets warm. That's right, Komodo. But the problem is the cubs woke up too early, and now they're causing lots of trouble. 
The cubs don't know how to use their shovels properly yet. They need their mother to teach them. Where is she? Probably still hibernating somewhere. Your mission is to find her before her cubs ruin the whole island. McKenna, can you do it? We Animal Mechanical can! Let's find the mama bear quickly, so we can go back home where it's warm. Bear dozer cubs. Aw, they're cute. We've got to find their mother. Can anyone see her? I can't see her, but I hear something. It must be the Mama Bear Dozer hibernating. Follow that snoring. The snoring's coming from in here. She's fast asleep. All we need to do is wake her up. No problem. <clears throat> Hello? Let's all try. <laughs> We need to get closer to wake her. We need to move this snow out of the way. Hmm, that is a lot of snow. It would require some sort of shovel. Mm, nope, no shovels around here. Oh, yes, there are. This is a job for... Bricks! McKenna Strong! Shovel stuff. And so do the baby bear dozers. Look! <laughs> That's right, little bear dozers. You push like this. Ah, uh, Komodo? Not now, Sasquatch. I am teaching these bear dozer cubs how to use their shovels. <laughs> Would now be a good time to tell you a bear dozer cub is going to knock you into a snowdrift? Sure. Thanks, Sasquatch. There! The snow is out of the way! Yay! Time to wake up, Mama Bear Dozer! Someone turn on the heat, please. It's c c cold in here. Sasquatch, you're brilliant. I am. I mean, I know I am. But, uh, uh, why exactly am I? Because you thought of turning on the heat. What do you mean, Komodo? It's cold, right? <laughs> right? Right? And we know that bear dozers hibernate in the cold winter and wake up in the spring when it's warm, right? <laughs> right? So, we just need to warm this place up to make it feel like spring. Then the Mama Bear Dozer will wake up. If warming this place up is what it takes, I'm the animal mechanical for this job. Unicorn! McKenna Fly! <laughs> What's 
she doing? Unicorn's warming everything up with her magic horn to make it feel like spring. Unicorn's the coolest! I mean, the warmest. <laughs> ah, it's nice and warm now. Look, the Mama Bear Dozer woke up. Great work, Unicorn. Yes! Her cubs are so happy to see her. Now she can teach them how to use their shovels properly. Uh oh, they're running away again. They still want to play. Yes! 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 You're right, Mouse. And if I had to guess what that is, I'd say it's a playpen. Of course. Smart Mama. She can teach her cubs how to use their shovels safely in there, where they won't cause any more damage. Yes, but there's just one problem. The cubs aren't in there yet. Yes! Look out! Mama Bear Dozer, would you like our help getting your cubs into their playpen? <laughs> She would! But how can we do it? We need some way of rounding up those crazy cubs. Maybe someone could stretch all the way around them and gently gather them into the pen? Right! But who could do that? Hmm. Wait a minute! I just had an idea. I could stretch and gather the cubs into their pen. Why didn't I think of that? Behold, the mighty Sasquatch! Bacana Stretchy! Sasquatch, you rounded up the cubs. Good one. Now to close up the playpen to keep them safe. Yay! Yay! The Bear Dozer Cubs are back with their mother. Animal Mechanicals, mission accomplished. <laughs> that looks like fun. <laughs> Sasquatch, you shouldn't be in there while the cubs are learning how to use their shovels. What did you say? I said... <laughs> Komodo, you shouldn't be in here while the cubs are learning how to use their shovels. Can somebody help me up? We animal mechanical can! <laughs> Sasquatch, 
Bacana Stretchy! McKenna Buffalo Bus Island. Animal Mechanical Mission Time! Animal Mechanicals. Good morning, Island Owl. Very big mission today. Yeah! Great! Your destination is McKenna Buffalo Bus Island. Cool! The Buffalo Bus is the island's tour bus. Anyone who wants to go on a sightseeing tour goes on the Buffalo Bus. Yes, and some McKenna chipmunks have been planning to go on a sightseeing tour on the Buffalo Bus for a long time. But there's a problem. The McKenna chipmunks are too small to reach their seats on the top of the bus. Aww, poor chipmunks. Your mission is to help the McKenna chipmunks get to their seats so they can go for their ride. But be careful. Buffalo buses are very sensitive. They don't like loud noises or bright lights. They can get very nervous and skittish. McKenna, can you do it? We animal mechanical can! McKenna Buffalo Bus Island! <laughs> and there are the McKenna Chipmunks! <laughs> they like to take pictures! Hi, little buddies! <laughs> Who wants to take pictures of the mighty and very handsome Sasquatch? Those ones are trying to reach their seats at the top of the bus! Yes, but unfortunately they are too small to get up there! Okay, team. Let's think. We need to find a way to get them to the top of the bus. What about this door? Sasquatch, I think that's a luggage compartment. You know what? I think that's a luggage compartment. Amazing. Maybe one of us can get the chipmunks to the top of the bus. But it's pretty far up. Maybe someone could stretch to get them up there. Yeah! Oh, too bad no one around here can do that. <laughs> really, Sasquatch? No one? Hey, wait a minute. You guys are forgetting I can stretch. Stand aside and behold... The mighty Sasquatch! Makana Stretchy! <laughs> Come on, little chipmunks. Upsy daisy. All right, Sasquatch. Stretchy like a big rubber monkey. You might want to take some more pictures of me while I get you loaded on. These are going to be great action shots. I think I had my eyes closed in that one. You better take some more. <laughs> Watch, be careful. I don't think the Buffalo Bus likes all the camera flashes. Remember what Island Owl said? Bright lights make it nervous and skittish. Huh? You know what? I don't think the Buffalo Bus likes all the camera flashes. Bright lights make it nervous and skittish. 
You don't say. Whoa! The bus is out of control. We have to stop it. It is a well-known fact that a key turns Buffalo buses off and on. So, if we turn the key, the bus will stop. Unfortunately, it is located on the very top of the bus. Someone would have to get high in the sky to reach that key. High in the sky? You mean fly? It's impossible. Nothing's impossible for Animal Mechanicals. This is a job for... Unicorn! Another key. No keys around here. Leave it to me. This is a job for Komodo. Makara Gizmo. Nope. Nah. -uh. Oh, I was saving that for the big game. One mighty mechanic key to the rescue! But how is Komodo supposed to get the key to the top of the buffalo bus? Animal Mechanical Team Time! Unicorn, can you fly Komodo to the top of the bus? I Animal Mechanical can, Rex! Komodo, grab hold of my tail! <laughs> Okay, get ready. Steady, steady. Komodo away! Oof. Made it. Thanks, unicorn. No problem, Komodo. <gasps> Komodo, hurry up! The bus is heading straight for the edge of the island. Whoa, uh -oh. not good. <laughs> Got it in. Now to turn off this bus and stop it. Oops, that doesn't sound good. Hurry, Komodo. You're getting closer to the edge of the island. Yes! Yes, it's turned off. Uh, okay, bus. You can stop rolling anytime now. Whew, that was close. Komodo. Good work, Unicorn. The bus is stopped all safe and sound. But the chipmunks still need to go for their ride. <laughs> I don't know about that. They say that ride was the best one they've ever taken. Animal Mechanicals, mission accomplished. Yeah! <laughs> the chipmunks say they've never seen anything as exciting as Animal Mechanicals. Can they take some more pictures of us? Sounds like we have a mission to pose for pictures. Mechanic, can we do it? We animal mechanical can! Far away from the buffalo bus. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> it's picture time, little buddies. Whoa! 